Christmas at the Palace is a pretty decent film and, and certainly quite festive. This was released in 2018. It's directed by Peter Hewitt and it stars Merritt Patterson as Katie and Brittany Bristow as Jessica. We also have Andrew Cooper as King Alexander. And we have India Fowler as Princess Christina. And Jessica and Katie are two friends who have grown up since I think they were three years old ice skating. And through this ice skating, they meet Princess Christina and they go back to the palace. They meet the king and they agree to help put on this performance for, I think, Christmas Eve, if I remember rightly. And... As the film progresses, so do various potential romantic interests. And I won't say which female lead is paired up with the king because the other female lead is also paired up with somebody else. And I want to see, it would be a fun idea to see if you can guess just by watching the beginning of the film, who is more likely to be paired up with whom. That's kind of something in hindsight I wish I had the ability to have some fun with. Um, but either way, I feel like the pairings made perfect sense. It was very believable. Some characters made some ridiculous decisions at one point, but I'll discuss that with a spoiler warning in a moment. It's really my only criticism for the characters and their actions, because for the most part, it's really thoroughly enjoyable. I have to say, because I love ice skating, I'm not necessarily very good at it, but I do love being on ice. And with ice skating, running right through this, that part of it, I just really thoroughly enjoyed. There are a lot of Christmas decorations, and there are some baking of Christmas cookies, and there are some Christmas carols. Definitely a good choice if you're looking for a film to help get you in the Christmas spirit. It also talks a lot about the true meaning of Christmas and, you know, togetherness and family. And it definitely ticks all of those boxes. I feel like the acting was very good. It was very well shot. We had some great supporting characters. I have no complaints. Well, I have one tiny complaint, as I said, with the characters not behaving in the best way. So I guess I'll discuss that with a spoiler warning now. I have nothing else to say about the film, certainly nothing negative. I have really only positive things. It's a it's a great story. It's it's very well filmed. The pacing is great. The characters are very likable. It's very festive. It's definitely one that I recommend. So a tiny spoiler, I won't go into too much detail, but towards the end of the film, the characters start to make some pretty ridiculous decisions, such as abandoning the task they were doing to create this ice, this performance to go and buy an ice rink, which, yeah, you need to take opportunities when you can, but abandoning what you're currently working on and letting people down for your own selfish needs is not very great. And then at the last moment, the king cancels the Christmas Eve dinner. That's a really stupid decision, particularly as obviously a lot of really important leaders and whatever <laughs> were coming to this dinner and they all had plans, they would have booked things, they would have made all of these arrangements. And then all of a sudden, a couple of days before Christmas Eve, he decides to cancel. In fact, it wasn't even a couple of days before, it was literally the 11th hour. He cancels it. That's a very irresponsible, selfish thing to do. Not just because those people have now had their plans ruined. They've probably spent, I mean, if they're country leaders, they can in theory afford to lose the money. But they've spent a lot of money on these travel plans and they probably put off plans with their family in order to accommodate the king's Christmas Eve dinner. And they've let their family down in favour of the king. And now they might have to try and tell their family, oh, well, actually, that was cancelled. Please slot me into the plans you've made as an alternative. So really ridiculous, selfish decisions on those characters' parts. But it wasn't enough to hinder my enjoyment of the film. But it is just worth bearing in mind that these otherwise likeable characters, well, they make a couple of very selfish decisions that will disappoint and inconvenience a lot of people. But that aside, I really liked it. Christmas at the Palace is a very enjoyable film, very festive, and one that I'm very happy to recommend. <laughs> 